Room service. Come in. Good afternoon, Effendi. I bring chai for you and your good lady wife. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> She's not my wife, you know. Ah, of course. Yes, well, you are indeed blessed, sir, to have such a beautiful mistress. Uh, no, what I mean is, we haven't... Uh, we don't... There's nothing happening. Do not worry, sir. A few nights here in the beautiful Pasha Palace, and the sweet creature will know your special gift of romantic love, I am sure. I shall leave you to your rejuvenating sleep, sir. Hi, George. Ah, uh, uh... Yeah, hi. What a sweet waiter. What was he saying? Oh, nothing. Uh, the weather. Rain. Says it's not expected. Uh, never has been. All an ugly rumor. <laughs> Which is good. Um, time to find the treasure, huh? I'll be in the corridor while you get dressed. All set? Yeah, thank you, George. I'm so glad you decided to help me, George. I can't believe we're really here. Can you? Yeah, it's kind of like a dream. Not a nightmare? Oh no, not a nightmare. I used to be a patent lawyer, you know. Worked at my dad's old firm. A lawyer? I'd never have guessed. Well, I take that as a compliment. Looks like we missed breakfast. Got it. Nice souvenir. A map of some of the tourist attractions. Do you know anything about where we might find the old citadel? I have no idea. Why don't you ask the waiter? He knows a lot about the city. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And busy with VIP check-in requirements. What sites can you recommend? How about the Blue Mosque? Most of our cheap deal guests seem to find it quite satisfying. Anything else of interest? There is also our Mosaic Museum. Guests like you seem to enjoy it. Tell me more about Istanbul. Do have a look at our map to see which sites could interest you. Tell me more about Istanbul. Do have a look at our map to see which sites could interest you. Ah, my friend. And how is my favorite guest this afternoon? So, are you happy in your work then? I have been a waiter all my life, sir. A joyous life, dedicated to the art of fulfilling the desires of each and every guest that travels to our great city. The exotic crucible where East meets West. Do you know anything about an old citadel here in Istanbul? Oh, the great citadel. <laughs> Legend tells that it is buried deep under Topkapi Palace. Topkapi? Topkapi is one of our most beautiful sites. Alas, it is not open to the public this week. There is a political conference going on and the place is crawling with guards. Why not instead visit the famous Hucha smokers by Galatasaray? Or the San Sophia, the Blue Mosque, the Turkish Baths. Very sexy, my friend. Eh? <laughs> 
Anna Maria, look at this. Topkapi Palace is enormous. Where the heck are we going to find any traces of the old citadel? Hmm. There's a fountain in the inner courtyard. It must connect to the water system. Maybe that's the aqueduct that served the old citadel. Yeah, that's possible. But how do we get in if it's closed to the public? You are working with George Stobart. There's always a way. Museum section, it says. That's where the top copy dagger is exhibited. Lover's vestibule? Wonder what that is. Maybe the waiter knows. The famous harem. Apparently the prince kept 200 concubines, as well as the usual 10 wives. That's the entrance. Probably heavily guarded this week. I guess the palace is impenetrable. Uh, I mean, with all the security. Only the Crusaders managed to break into Topkapi, and they had somebody on the inside. A beautiful woman, I suspect, though the legend is murky. I found a building on the map marked Lover's Vestibule. Do you know what that is? The Lover's Vestibule. It is a side entrance that has a famous bolt system which can only be opened from the inside. Are there any other interesting entrances to the palace? There are also doors inside that require two people to open them. Legend has it they were installed to prevent the gorgeous concubines sneaking out for a quick rendezvous with a guard. So oh, this is Topkapi Palace, the jewel of the Ottoman Empire. This is kind of fun, don't you think? Most fun I've had in years. Really? Excuse me, sir. No one through here without an ID. Sorry, no tourists allowed in this week. Wait, you press? Uh, yes, I'm a journalist. What paper? Uh, New York Times. They already signed in. I meant the Idaho Chronicle. They canceled. Are you guessing? Of course not. Maybe you're not really a journalist. Maybe you are a terrorist. No, 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 no. You see, I'm freelance, so I often forget who I'm with. Oh, yes? Because I work for so many papers. All the paper guys signed in. And TV. I work for TV. A lot. All the TV guys signed in. And radio, of course. Radio all signed in. Oh, heck. Apart from... Yes? Eamon Omara. You're kidding. But that's amazing. Why? Well, because of all the journalists in all the world. Yes? You picked the one journalist... Yes? That is me. <laughs> me. You mean... You're Eamon Omara? We've been expecting you, Mr. Omara. Are you enjoying your stay at the Pasha Palace? I'm afraid I have to ask for your ID anyway, Mr. Omara. Oh, heck. I'm sorry I left it at the hotel. No ID, no entry, no exceptions. We're all big fans, Mr. Omara, especially Ekin up at the gate. If he was on ID duty, he'd be able to let you in because he knows you by sight, of course. <laughs> of course.
back at the Pasha Palace Hotel. What can you tell me about Top Copy? Oh, it's very beautiful. But the presidential conference is being held there this week. Only invited diplomats and press will be allowed in. Why not visit somewhere else? There's a map on the wall there, where you can see all the main attractions. So, I hear Eamon O'Mara is staying here. Oh, yes. At this very hotel. It is so exciting to have a real celebrity here. Celebrity, huh? World famous. That a fact. Up your alley? <laughs> Very good. After my little adventure in Glastonbury, Eamon wrote a bestseller about it. The End of the World, my part in how it nearly happened but didn't. On the back of that, he's become a celebrity journalist. He still hasn't come down from his room today. I expect he is up there preparing for one of his brilliant interviews. Nursing a hangover, more like. Sorry? I said he's so good behind a mic. I get off duty soon, and then I shall personally take him the letter that just arrived from Top Copy. I had to sign for it, you know. Must be very important. Tell me more about Eamon. Imagine having Eamon Ogmara here in the hotel. Yes, imagine. Tell me more about Eamon. Imagine having Eamon of Mara here in the hotel. Yes, imagine. What can you tell me about Top Copy? Oh, it's very beautiful. But the presidential conference is being held there this week. Only invited diplomats and press will be allowed in. Why not visit somewhere else? There's a map on the wall there, where you can see all the main attractions. Tell me more about Istanbul. Do have a look at our map to see which sites could interest you. The letter from the palace might be important. I'm going to distract the receptionist. Can you grab the letter while she's not looking? You bet. Isn't this fun? Shh, it is, isn't it? Yes, that could be a plan. Better talk to her. The letter from the palace might be important. I'm going to distract the receptionist. Can you grab the letter while she's not looking? You bet. Isn't this fun? Shh. It is, isn't it? Do you play often? Not as often as I'd like. What's your handicap? My ears, I guess. Oh? Can I show you my putt? Surprise me. That was actually quite impressive. Thank you. It's all in the grip, of course. So, how famous are you? Oh, very famous. Hmm. I am not convinced. Did you get it? You bet. It's an ID card for the Palace Press Conference. You are a star. Looks like Eamon was given an ID card and a map for top copy. I separated the map and the ID card. Eamon's ID card. The photo is only loosely attached. That's not quite right. A nice souvenir from Pasha Palace. A 
I got the photo out of the ID, which is now ruined. Excellent. Now I've got ID to enter the palace. Back at Top Copy. Choc Guzel, you really are Eman O'Mara. Now, Mr. O'Mara, say the words for me. You know, the words. No, I really couldn't. Oh, please, I'm sure you could. No, I'm sure I can't. I think you can. You gotta be in the mood. Say them. Now. Up your alley. Oh, fantastic. Again. Uh, up your alley. With feeling. Up your alley. Oh, Ekin at the gate will love it. He and I listen to all your shows. He's even got a poster of you at home. I'll let him know you're here. Terrific. I've got no reason to try that. Please proceed to the gate, Defendi. Please proceed to the gate, Defendi. I was wondering if you could help me. You want me to distract the guard on the left? How did you know? I'm a quick learner. Once I'm inside, I'll find that side door the waiter was talking about and let you in. Good luck. You too. We're both gonna need it. Please proceed to the gate, Defendi. Scaffolding. No tourist attractions complete without it. That's the way in. Better watch out for those guards, though. Guard's cell phone number is 555-654-897. I put the phone back. I need to be careful here. What the?
Hmm, the plaster's loose here and I can see some rubble underneath. Noldu, Zeki. Better check it out. Fantastic. Lucky I got a sweet tooth. No! Zeki, I've run out of tea. Never mind, baby. I'll make a new one. Come on. You stay here. Stay. What should I do? Hypnotize it? Excellent. Now I've got a slice of salami. That is one lucky dog. The price of salami these days? He's still growling. That's not such a good idea. That's the clothesline untied. Salami on a clothesline? It's a strange world, all right. There's the fountain, but the yard is crawling with guards. The building behind it is the museum. That's where I should find the side door. The system is password locked.
Hmm. It won't let me turn off the lasers. That's the best I can do. The lasers will go on and off. Now, if only I could see them too. It says, warning, this museum uses an infrared alarm system. Do not enter when activated. That's not very realistic. That's not very realistic. The hotel flyer goes in and the grill closes. With the flyer alight, the smoke should reveal where the lasers are. Gee, thanks. <laughs>